Hello, this is Richard. This is Games Freezer. Today, my friends, we're playing a game called Return to Grace on our 10 minute taster. This is on the PC, so um, we're going to play our first game of it and see what it's all about. Um, I know that it's a walking simulator, so that should be interesting because I always enjoy a good walking simulator, so we'll see what it's like. So, let's get our game started and let's get going, shall we? Not responding. Can you take control? The storm is interfering with my senses. Hold on. Impact in ten, nine. Oh, there it is. Return to Grace. Addy. Addy, please respond. Oh, my everything hurts. You've been out for nearly an hour. What's our status, Alan? We've crashed. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> my hull is intact. Thrusters two and four are damaged and will require realignment. So will my back. Can you let me out? Not before we talk about your suit. Okay, talk. I'm reading green on seals, green on batteries. Thermals are, well, not green, but fine, and you have 5.35 hours of oxygen, maybe six if we run the scrubbers hot. But Addy, we've had this discussion before. You won't have Alan, enough to- it's fine. I have a plan. I'm concerned that- I have a plan. Understood. Now, uh, open the hatch. The canopy hydraulics are not responding. You'll have to pull the manual release. Okay, manual release, grab. Left stick. Oh, seriously. A stupid piece of junk. I'm right here. Visibility's terrible. Any sign of the spire? I'm not picking up anything new, just the original beacon signal. You'll need to use your wayfinder to locate an entry point, if there is one. All right. Let's figure out where you're at, Grace. You know the beacon could be anything. A lost colony, a relay station. 200 distinct oral histories can't be wrong, Alan. Grace is here. I can't believe this storm. Where would this have come from? There is record of ancient terraforming on other moons. I think it's safe to assume that Ganymede is not an exception. Looks like a weather station, or maybe a seismic station? It looks the era of that relay from the Dawes Sea Dig. It's at least 700 years old, Alan. There's a little bridge here. There wouldn't be much sense of building this if we weren't within walking distance of the spire. By all estimates, the beacon is within 400 meters. This looks climbable. Which way here? Mate. Yep, there 
There goes the back again. What happened? Fell into a stupid fissure. Looking for a new way to reach the spire. Or at least some place where it will be easier to find my body. This is really dark. Oh. Looks a little tight. It's opened up again. Another station. They're too close together to be weather stations. So seismic then. Icequakes would be the risk of building here. So it makes sense they would track activity. The surface temperature is dropping. We can't maintain your thermals much longer. We're close. I, I can feel it. I wish I shared your optimism. Oh my god. This has to be it. What are you seeing, Addy? I'm looking at what must be the spire superstructure. There's a destroyed surface ladder. I'll need to find another way in. I can't imagine how something this big has gone undetected for this long. A 500-year-old storm? I don't know. It doesn't seem possible. I can see an exhaust port that might be low enough to jump to. Did you make it, Addy? I'll let you know in one sec. I'm in. All right, Grace. Let's find out what you've been up to for the past 900 years. Need a torch. Why can't I walk forward? <clears throat> I think I need to do some kind of Need to change my um, settings. I think options, video. Uh, can't do the brightness. Gamma. B bonus controller game. Vertical look. What's hide helmet off on? Oh, I see. I am still walking, but I'm just. Am I actually going anywhere? I can't literally see anything. <clears throat> Solid ice this way. Solid ice, I can't see anything, mate. Oh, this is such a shame because I want to explore this and see what's going on.
Literally can't see a thing. Oh, that is a damn shame. All it needs is just an adjustment of um, brightness, unless I can do it on my actual monitor itself. I'm going to try it now. I'll put the brightness up. Try that and if that helps, it kind of does, I think. So that down there is where I came in, right? Or was it? Ah, crawl space. This might be tight. Right, I've turned the brightness right up. I'm hoping it will break out into somewhere that's a bit more visible. Kind of loading in the next screen, which is interesting. Seen that in a while. All right. Hope my light still works. I could have done with that. Right, shaft. That's where I came from, yeah? Go down the shaft. This is cool, I like this. You should see this spooky tunnel I'm in, Alan. And why would I want that? Come on, you're not excited? You crash landed me in a frozen hellscape and left me for salvage. Ten years of research, not to mention six months of spaceflight are about to pay off. But at what cost? Don't ruin this for me. Come on. We're in. Looks like a bit of a labyrinth. But I'm still picking up the signal ahead. And you can still hear me? Loud and clear, buddy. The structure looks to be in decent condition. Another good sign. Everything about this place looks 30th century to me. It's the right era, the right size. Don't say it, Addy. We've had our hopes dashed before. Blaze can't be powered. There must be airflow in the tunnels. Oh, I have to say, there's more atmosphere than I was expecting. Not nearly enough to survive. Crawl space. Will this load in a new area? No, it won't this time. Okay. I really like this, the way this is laid out. It's got me intrigued. Looks like the tunnels can be air sealed. I'm guessing large parts of the station could be pressurized. So how did I get in here? I came through. God. All of this down here. Ah, we're in. This one's broken. I think I can crawl through. Here we go. Any advice? Jeez, that's got to be over 15 meters. And if gravity here is one-sixth of that on Earth, then a 15-meter fall here would be the equivalent of falling less than three meters at standard G, which you've mastered a couple of times already on the moon's surface. Here we go. Ah, it's probably fine. I could calculate outcome probabilities based on previous drop impacts if you've already jumped, haven't you? 
Lovely stuff. Gosh, I hope this is the right way. Down here. I like these atmospheric walking simulators, they really oh boy, this is float slick. my boat. Oh no. Oh shit. Whoa. Are you hurt, Addy? I'm working on it. The structure is enormous. I'm sure it's very big. This has to be the Grey Spire, Alan. And there it is. The perfect setup for disappointment. Right, I think I'm going to call a halt to my 10 minute taster. Right about there, because I don't want to um, spoil anything else. I found the source of the signal, so we'll see. What happens next. Sort of anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the 10 minute taster. If you have, please press like and subscribe to the channel. You think we can make a connection also, here? follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GamesFreezer and head over to www.gamesfreezer.co.uk for everything we do. Goodbye, my friends. The interface language is quite old and sophisticated, but we should be able to calibrate your computer to interact. You can use your gyroscope to sync with the terminal. I have the first calibration position. The meter will indicate when you are close. Watch the meter closely and move your hand slowly to find the position. First position is locked, second calibration position is up. That's two, and here's the final position. That's it, we're in. Accessing the network now. Oh. Shit. Alan, you there? Alan? Hello. Huh? A visitor. Let's have a look. Where's Alan? Who is this? Who is this? Who are you? Entering a home without knowing its host. Are you... Grace? Hmm. Good question. I'm not entirely Grace. I'm running on just a small part of her logic processing. Grace is still here. And what brings you here? My name is Adamari Ito. I'm an explorer. I must apologize, Adamari. It would appear I have lost much of my capacity. I cannot see very far beyond the room we are in. I've lost connection with my ship's AI. You won't need Alan here. I can show you around. Will you be able to let me out of this room? Of course. But until we are able to restore power to the station, I will require your assistance. There should be a manual winch set in the floor at the foot of one of the sliding doors. <laughs>